So hey everybody, this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're here with Roy with Qualcomm looking at some really cool augmented reality. So this is the uh, Boost Jaw augmented reality app, and it's a campaign that ran um, during the holiday season. So you can augment any image within the Moose Jaw catalog. So they did something very unique here. So when you start up the app, you know, and you point at an image, whoa, bam, you can actually visualize the models in, in the catalog uh, in different clothing. And then you can zoom in and see the detail. So it's a really, really simple but very engaging and interesting application. Can you change different outfits or? Uh, yeah. I think it's it's actually uh, on different images, different outfits come. I actually don't know if you can change the outfit on this one. Let's see. No, actually you can't. It doesn't really. No, it's just one outfit that you can have on each model. Okay. But every, pretty much every model had uh, had a different model. And now we're with uh, Michael. He's got something else to show us. Yeah. So what we see here is augmented reality. What we are able to do is we are able to. Find these these this little images in the in the, in the screen and, and build some virtual content on top of it, like this living room. And the new stuff here is that we built with Sesame Street. We can now do the same thing with 3D objects. So let's place this little guy in here and see that he comes to life in his living room and he starts talking to us. He says he's, nice. he's Ernie and he wants to see a friend with him. So let's place Bert in, it, in here. And as soon as we we do that, Bert appears. And these two guys are start talking to each other. I imagine there'd be sound in this. We can't hear it here, right? Yeah, there's a full Because we're because it's loud here, obviously. It's, yeah. I'm sure. You know, the, the so what they are what they are talking about is they would, would like to watch something. <laughs> okay. So let's find a, an object that they can watch. Maybe the TV. So let's bring in the TV. And they're already happy with the TV, expecting that there's. You see, the TV is starting, showing a sesame clip. And he's talking about the the, 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 the clip. Wow. Well, let me let me show you another um, setup here. This is a jukebox, so maybe we want to explore what a jukebox can do. As a child, you might want to have this this question to understand what the what the jukebox can do. Well, let's go. So here we go. A jukebox is for dancing, of course, playing music and dancing. Wow. And having fun. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, the key is for a kid, right? Depending on what play pieces he puts on this game board, the whole experience changes dramatically. Like we could have put, as we saw when you put the, the TV, the context of the game changes. When you're a kid, like without this experience, for example, the way you play this is you voice, you know, you you mimic some of these characters and try to create a storyline for yourself. Mm -hmm. But now with the tablet yeah. and augmented reality, we're making this world come alive, right? We're making these toy pieces just come alive. Is this app already available now? No. So this is a prototype application that's been built with technology that's not yet in the commercial augmented reality SDK. So, you know. It's coming. It'll come at some point. <laughs> not soon enough, right? All right, we're back with Roy for some more. So this is a game called Trilliards. It's a billiards with a three. Um, and basically the idea is you have a very unique billiards experience on this game board here. So you'll notice it looks like a pool room. Um, so let's see what the game is like. So let's try a solo game. And then we finish loading. So you'll notice that the developer in this game chose to actually augment the entire game board. So there's a really beautiful pool room out here that you can see. Uh, very nice detail. You can go in and um, you know you can you can see the table from different angles. But let's say you wanted to, you could even turn the uh, turn the pool room like this and view the table from you know from different angles if you were not inclined to move the phone. 
So let's let's shoot some pool, I guess. That yeah, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> So, I can figure this game out. Wow. Uh, yeah. You see, the developer chose to um, implement these controls on the on, on the left here. But once you align it, you can actually move around, like go all the way down, make sure it's like clearly aligned and you'll notice. Okay. Right? And notice what I'm doing here. I'm actually moving the uh, game board and you'll know and you'll see the direction of the queue changing. So that's very unique. This is what the developer actually implemented here. It's like you don't have to use these controls like I showed you at the beginning, yep. but you can actually move the pool pool room in a sense the pool table. But what you're doing is you're aligning the queue before you shoot. And then I think if you no, no, let's do that. Wow, I got some in. <laughs> now this isn't available yet either, right? No, this is available. This is this available. This is available in the Android market. You can download it. I believe it's a free game. And that's, and that's wow. Where and where would you get the? Um, so the developer will actually has papers. a link in the Android market where you can where you can print where you them. Can yeah. Just download it and print it off your. And there's a variety printer. of different ones too, maybe or. Uh, no, it's just one right now. Okay. Yeah. But uh, you know, I'm sure if the game is popular, the developer will add more. Or you know. Right now, it's a simple game, very well done. Uh, you know, you can see how nice the graphics are. Really cool interactions too. And what was the name of this one again? Uh, it's billiards with a three, so trillions. Okay. Great. Go. 